And it seems Xemnas hasn't given up yet. Now we're gonna have to actually fight the world of nothingness by ourselves. Donald and Goofy are no longer here. And this part is actually kind of confusing because you were just thrown into the battle and you don't really know what this vehicle does but here's a little throwdown you can absorb the enemy bullets and then you can shoot a super laser it does a lot of damage but do not focus just on that you can still do damage with your tiny little beams that well I guess Riku shoots out and also Sora can hit other nobodies back now something you do not want to do is die because there's no way to heal in this section though it is actually probably a little too hard to die. <laughs> do it actually to be a very difficult thing to do. All right, so now just keep spamming the beams, really, because that's that's what seems to help me out. But do not forget that the nobodies you hit back at the world of nothingness can actually do significant amounts of damage. Let's try and hit some back. Oh, I didn't hit any actually. And yeah, let's just shoot another super laser. And wow, the tail is almost gone. Just a couple more hits, and boom, there it goes. Actually, we don't take down the tail. We just take down the little thrusters it had. Alright, let's keep hitting the beams. Actually, it doesn't look like they're doing anything. It's kind of funny. We could just hiss the the machine to make it shoot beams. It's kind of humorous, I guess. And whoa, look out for these beams. Don't these look sort of familiar from another boss fight? Yeah, they do. And Alright, so these nobodies, the ones that exploded the core of his fortress the first time, do tons of damage to the thrusters. So you're definitely going to want to hit them back into it. Wow, look at that. Kind of crazy. And use the laser attack. Yeah. Okay. Kind of forgot to do that, actually. But I'm going to prioritize and hit the nobodies first, because they do more damage. And hey, we got to level up mid-boss fight. Ain't that just nice? All right, let's, uh, let's use some beams. Like the game tells us to, because we want to be a good kingdom kingdom key wielder. All right, so let's just focus. Just keep doing as much damage. I want to get this done as quickly as possible, because I do not want to die. Because that would be unfortunate, because you have to start out with a over... This boss battle is a little bit on the lengthy side. So down goes now thruster. Wow. Now we already have a mega laser, so we're going to use that on the next one when we get a chance. And what the heck is that thing? Just random scrap flying around? I guess so. Man, there's Xemnas in the front of it. I bet he's so cocky. They can't defeat me. I'm Xemnas. I have the power of nothing. Or whatever. Yeah, I've got more beams. So we can't actually target the thruster just yet. Now we can. Okay. Ugh, look at that damage. Wow, we almost did three. Oh, we did do three bars. That's a crazy amount. Holy cow. Nah, get away from the explosive. Okay, good. So let's just absorb more beams. See, this is a very frantic battle. <laughs> it's just not too hard. That's just kind of the sad part. Oh, well. Yeah, let's just keep doing... Wow, those do, those nobodies do so much damage. I would... It's almost like pointless to charge up the Mega Laser, honestly. But then again, maybe not. What am I even talking about? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just trying to defeat this boss. Yeah, he's not, there's not much left to it, really. There's just the two wings. Now, this part's actually kind of difficult because the wings are much less easier to hit target than the thrusters. And there it goes. Man, it's a mechanical dragon. It's so cool. Such a good concept. And whoa, look at all these missiles. Ah! You don't have a barrel roll or anything, so those are kind of hard to avoid, but whatever. All right, come on. Give me your worst. As long as your worst is something I can handle and not die. And yeah, and I mean... <laughs> This is one of the last portions, and look how much health we or uh, damage we've taken. It's not too much, all right? So let's keep hitting the nobody's back. Just come on, focus. Eh, I should probably be shooting my beams a little bit more, but oh well. I'll shoot the beams when nothing's on the screen. Here, the, how, how about that? Whoa! And now we're shooting the beams, and there's nobody on the screen at the same time. He just will not. He's just unrelentless. Ugh. Man, I miss those. I should absorb those or whatever. Wow! Holy cow! Now Riku got to level up. <laughs> we're just leveling up like crazy here, aren't we? It's kind of sucks because the game doesn't save after this boss fight so yeah and it's just oh wow we actually got to drive too it's kind of funny how we can do that even though this part's like on rails and you kind of feel like you shouldn't be getting levels and stuff but I guess you can okay there's not much left of that now if only they would shoot more okay ah okay sweet we got the mega laser oh that's probably a waste but I don't care so now we've taken down the right wing too now it's time for the left is that the left I don't care doesn't matter this boss battle's too epic to care <laughs> All right, man. How's he? How are you even flying without two wings? Eh, or are we space? Uh, I don't know. Actually, I think we're inside Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, this place doesn't look like the world that never was. Actually, it sort of does. Well, the the sky doesn't look like the world that never was. Let's just leave it at that. All right, some more nobodies, more beams, more absorbing. <laughs> just rinse and repeat, really. It's honestly a pretty cool boss fight, even though it's kind of confusing. Probably the first time you play it, you probably won't know what you're doing. You might die, but. We're doing pretty good so far. Um, 
Keep, ab keep avoiding the beans, because when you get hit by one, you're going to hit by a lot of stuff. Alright, just keep adding up that damage. Keep adding up the damage. Absorb. Yes, awesome. Alright, we took a hit there, but that's not too big of a deal. So this is one of the last phases. Oh, crap, we're taking a lot of damage. Actually, got to be a little bit more careful. A more cautious. Alright, absorb. Ah, oh, I didn't get any of them. Dang it. Right, just keep hitting the nobodies. Keep hitting the nobodies. Absorb. Alright. Next attack is going to be it for the world of nothingness. Come on. Ugh, so close. Okay, it only has one bar left. Come on, just keep hitting the nobodies back. And down goes the world of nothingness. Man, we've taken down all of Xemnas' creations. What does he have left? This guy just doesn't know when to give up. And yes, we gotta battle Xemnas in his armor form once again. But there is one key difference. We are in space, it seems, because our jumps are insanely high, which means there's not a lot of gravity here. And also, this part's a little difficult. Not so much the armor portions, just actually getting to him. He won't actually use his, the organization's weapons, but you'll see this part is a little bit different. There's a black hole behind us that is a little intimidating. And also, he will put up a shield and start shooting lasers at us. Well, how do you get around this shield? You gotta go to one of these stationary buildings and riding shot it. And yes, we're gonna put Riku onto the building. <laughs> Riku's gonna get launched at it, break the building in two, and destroy the shield. If that's not the best action command in the game, I don't know which one is. And now we gotta glide back to him while avoiding lasers. Now, I found the best way to do that is just jump over the lasers. Uh, yeah, really simple to dodge. But yes, we gotta hurry back. Because this is very time sensitive, and you gotta hit him as quickly as you can. Dish out as much damage, but don't get hit. That's bad, and you just don't wanna take that much damage. And our dark auras keep dealing out the damage. And Reflex did actually a very amount of good damage, so that's good. Oh crap, now he's using his beams inside of the ship itself. That can be a little bit detrimental, but they don't do too much damage. Alright, Riku, you could probably need heal in a little bit. Alright, reflect that. Oh, didn't do any damage. Darn. Oh well. Oh, we can't damage him. I guess we're going back to this phase again. <laughs> I guess we damaged him too quickly. And Riku, gotta get back to the building. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, good. There's one right there. I think we can get to this one pretty quickly. Dodge the beams. Oh, that was perfect. Okay. Now do this again. Ugh. Man, it's so awesome. It's really good. It's really good atmosphere, too. Everything about this part is awesome. Ugh. Damn goes the shield. Now, I'm pretty sure these beams are going to be very... Huh. I didn't use them this time. Very strange. Very strange. Well, I guess I'm, we're back here. Ah, oh, crap. Dark shield, go, go. Ah, oh, sweet. I need to fix the camera a little bit, and, well, he's pretty much getting pretty low. You can see he only has about two bars left. Yeah, so we just need to deal as much damage as we can before he knocks us back. Ah, oh, great. Okay, just get, just get in his face. There's not, he does not do a lot of damage. Okay, so we just gotta deal more damage, and he can keep us away. Come on, we gotta finish him. Nope, we're getting knocked back again. We did too much damage. All right, just keep jumping. Just keep jumping. Oh, I hit the ceiling of space, apparently, and could not jump anymore. All right, so we gotta hustle. Move closer. Okay, you don't want to get hit by these buildings, though. Those are the ones you don't want to get hit by. All right, can I dodge the beams? Yes, okay. Now let's fall down and do launch Riku on this building again. Ugh, that's such a... <laughs> I can't believe Sora's that strong. You hit an entire building 
at a giant mechanical dragon. It's kind of hard to believe. He was just a kid, like, when Kingdom Hearts 1, and now he's doing all this crazy stuff. Man, it's pretty awesome. Oh, I gotta love Kingdom Hearts. Just the crazy, out of the ordinary stuff you can do. It's amazing. Alright, he only has one bar left. We're getting pretty low, so we're gonna heal Riku up and just deal the final blows to Xenius. Alright, come on, just a little bit more. Let's get in his face. Deal as much damage as he can. Come on, Dark Aura. Just deal as much damage. Come on. Ah, oh, crap. Shouldn't have jumped. Okay, it's fine. It's fine, though. It's pretty low. Just one or two more combos. We'll finish him off. Keep using spells. Ah, oh, crap. Come on. We gotta beat him. We can't get knocked in the air again. Ah, oh, come on. He's so low. Let's finish Semnus off once and for all. And there it is! Uh, no, in post, that's not easy. Heroes from the realm of light. I will not allow it to end this way. Not yet. If light and darkness are eternal, then surely we nothings must be the same. Eternal. You're right. Light and darkness are eternal. Nothing probably goes on forever too. But guess what, Xemnas? That doesn't mean you're eternal. <laughs> no more eternal than that radiance of yours. Anger and hate are supreme. After five phases, it all comes down to this. This is the final battle against Xemnas. Now in this phase, all you're going to do, want to do is dodge. You cannot do anything to him. But if we had some mana, I would use our limit. That way we'd be guaranteed invincible. But I do not, because we really need to heal. Alright, so let's heal. Alright, Riku got that one too. Let's fall back to the ground. You cannot do any damage to him, and even if you could, it'd be very minimal. And that's stay. That's kind of like his mini limit, if you will. Alright, where is he? Come on. This boss battle is no pushover. It's probably the toughest boss we've encountered so far, without a doubt. He's a very good final boss battle. Now in this session, he is going to use a clone of himself to deal damage. And ooh, that is not what you want to get by. Once he starts you charging that attack, you definitely want to get out of the way. Alright. Use his attack, we can counterattack him. Okay. Now you're going to want to be very defensive in this battle, because he can take you very low in just a matter of seconds if you let him get off his attacks. Alright, come on. No, no, no. Oh, crap. Oh, I didn't have time to dodge. That is the one attack you really want to dodge, if you can. Okay, let's dodge his combo and show him ours. Oh, crap. We really need to be on the ground when he does that one, because we need a reversal that... Oh, crap. Oh, man, I'm really doing bad on the action commands here. Okay, because they do not give you a lot of time to dodge them. Okay, you get on the ground. The triangle. Yes, okay. And then you can do another attack. That is mainly what you want to do in this boss fight. Just make sure you get down the rhythm of his attacks and counter with your own. Alright, see, there you go. That's how you do that. Reversaling is very important in this battle. Uh, if you can, you can already tell. And oh crap, when he starts using his beams, you need to dodge them. They may not seem like they do a lot of damage, but they will add up over time. Alright, come on. Ugh, they're very difficult to dodge because he has so many of them. Jeez. His eternal beams or whatever. Alright. Riku's Dark Shield would probably actually be very useful here. I'm saving my cure till I absolutely need it. Okay. And what is he doing? Oh, crap. Here, we, here they come. Oh, not good, not good. Alright, we're gonna cure here just because I don't want to die. Alright, come on. Let's deal some damage. Dark Shield. Oh, he couldn't get it off. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, man. Reflect would be really nice right now. Jump at just at the right moment. Dodge all of them. It's good. Now, which one's the real Xemnas? That is not the real Xemnas. That one was. That is a bad. That is a bad trade. Okay. Oh crap, now he's going his limit. Not good, no. This part is probably where you die the first time. He is attacking Sora, and he cannot move, so we're going to have to play as Riku. In this part, what you want to do is keep spamming Dark Aura. It's the only way to get close to him. The problem is, this is timed since Sora is receiving damage. This is very difficult, very, very hard. He's probably one of the hardest things 
in the game, to be perfectly honest. Just gotta keep using Dark Aura. Do not let Xemnas' clone get any damage off on Riku. Just keep at it. Just keep pushing and pushing. Just keep getting closer. And once you think you're close enough, finish him off. Alright, we successfully saved Sora, so now we can play as him again. Now, I probably should cure, but I do not want to give up this chance in this free damage. Okay, now we can cure. No, now we're going to use our limit. See, now, the reason you want to use your limit is, he cannot do anything to you while you're doing it. Look at this. And we're still doing a, a good amount of damage. We could do more, but it's okay. Alright, come on. Come on, just do not get hit. Just let it last. Okay. And yes, that's exactly what I wanted. See, he did not get a scratch on us. Problem is, we're gonna have to use one of our elixirs to make sure we do not die. Alright, does it spart us on the ground? Yes, it does. Okay, cure, and we're good. <laughs> Alright. Okay. And then pretty much it's just rinse and repeat. You gotta keep reversing. Make sure you hit the real Xemnas and not get hit by the fake one's beams. Not great, that's not good. Okay. Where is he? Oh, he's <laughs> he's very difficult to actually lock on to since it keeps clearing the lock on. That's like <laughs> the one weakness to a Kingdom Hearts player if you clear the lock on. Alright, up. Oh, dang it. You gotta land that reversal, or it'll just knock you out of any combo you try and do. Reversal, okay. Oh man, this is really... Uh, it all comes down to this. If we can beat Xemnas here, it'll all be over. Oh man, Riku's getting pretty low. Alright, he used a potion. That's good, that's good. Okay, which one's the real... Oh, there he is. Okay, come on. Come on, just deal as much damage as we can. Okay, that's good. Alright. So, this is him. Okay, oh my gosh. Ugh, it's getting pretty hard. It's a pretty difficult boss fight, to be perfectly honest. I say this game is very easy, but this part is not. Alright, so we got a cure again. Not a big deal. Alright. Dark Shield, not really doing much there, Riku, but I appreciate the help. Oh man, we just gotta just keep just keep at it. Alright, come on. Where is he? Ugh, he teleport behind us. So tricky. Some tricky stuff right here. Okay, so now we can get him. Now we can get him. Come on, we just gotta land one more combo. He only has a little bit of health left. Okay. You know, he's doing this again. We do not have our limit up, so we're just going to have to keep trying to reversal as much as we can. It's not really the optimal strategy, but, well, it'll do good for right now. Man, oh my gosh. So close. He's almost finished, guys. Just one more combo, and he should be going down. That is, if we can even land one more combo on him. Oh, great. He was on the ground again. Come on. Oh, no, no. Okay, come on. No, just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. He doesn't even have one bar of health left. Come on. Ugh! He keeps zoning us with his darkness. Ah, oh, okay. So we just gotta keep reversing. Reversal. Reversal. Okay. Where is he? There it is. Doesn't seem like his clone's been showing up for a little while. No crap. Here it is. If you survive this, you have beaten Kingdom Hearts 2. That's easier said than done. Xemnas will put all of his power into one last attack. Now what you have to do is, simultaneously with Riku and Sora, keep reflecting these beams. There's a lot of them. And you have to hit Triangle and X at the same time to dodge them all. And man, look at all of that. Look how powerful Xemnas is. He can shoot all these lasers at us. But we're stronger. We're Keyblade Chosen Ones after all. We can deflect anything. Come on. Oh man, look at that. Oh, come on, guys. Keep it up. Keep it up. We're almost there. 